How bad is it if you call there? Very bad. Very bad. But I will not do that. I wish I would be more ready. Yeah. Like the first time I felt more ready to do it, and now I'm like, holy shit, this is scary. The other times it wasn't like that much of a danger of dying, so now <laughs> that's a bit different. It's not, I don't really give a fuck what it is going me. I just give a fuck that I'm at the bottom and can drink a beer and not somewhere in the heavy. When it's steep and the smells good, it's kind of like, different experience, you know, sort of part free falling, part riding. It's, yeah, different kind of dimension of riding almost. The Vector Oz has a lot of consequence on it. It's super, super steep and long and scary. In German we say, the pen can already paint, which means the shit is already coming out of the asshole a little bit. Put that in. <laughs> out of all the features, uh, still the landing will be good. The only thing which is uh, into uh, the bad stone conditions are from the Abel front flip and uh, on this area also, which has been used uh, previously. If you were to run out fast and like cross over it, would you like eat shit or would you be like, okay? <laughs> I feel that like uh, everyone is going and making a track. If you go fast and you're crossing this track, you're going to feel it while yeah. you're skiing. Yeah. So choose a pocket with no tracks to control the speed. So sometimes uh, you go uh, kicking horse, golden, uh, Deep power, it's fresh, it's light, you have plenty of track and you cross them and then it's light. You don't feel anything. Here you'll feel it. The snow is compact, it's still wet, it's not gonna be crusty, but it's a bit like wet, heavy, and you're gonna feel the it's gonna mark properly. So you're gonna have like sort of step, feel that you step in. I am nervous. Let's send it. Good calf rolling. Good calf. Slept well. Not too well. Just dreamt like a bunch of weird shit. I had to wake up a bunch of times. Super sweaty. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean. There is some tension in me, <laughs> <laughs> radiating from the back. The back. Formidable, formidable. Tu étais formidable, j'étais formidable. Nous étions formidable. Formidable, tu étais formidable, j'étais formidable, nous étions formidables. Oh bébé, oups mademoiselle, je veux pas vous draguer, promis juré, je suis célibataire. Depuis Little le... update, so while waiting for the ski mountain guide to get ready to ski cut the back, 
I'll give you some information regarding the weather. It's not as good as it was forecasted. So right now, we keep the competition on time. The difference is we'll send the foreigner only when the light is good enough for them to ski properly and for you to see it. I'm kind of having second thoughts on it. If the light's not perfect. No, yeah. I mean, if we were to run in that light, I would probably not even jump anything. But the bottom looks fine. That big of an issue. Still making tracks? They're making tracks. I think maybe it's just like the sand showing. <laughs> There's one place where I, there might be too much slough to cross back, but I gotta do it. I'm hoping I'm not making a bad decision, but. Conditions are very similar, I think, to what we see in January on the Petit Bank. It's very dense, kind of windboardy snow. It's pretty good. It's just a little grabby and hard to slide sideways on. Takeoff was very mellow. It definitely looks smaller than it is when you come into it, so I take speed. Um, landing wasn't soft. Um, just pretty windboardy. Again, it reminded me a lot. Let's get the back in January. Yeah, boy. Let's go. It's nice having four runners that have done it, and not some dude who just comes down and goes, This snow is, uh, is pretty odd, but uh, it is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's get some aggressive alpine snowboarding in. <laughs> yep. Aggressive alpine snowboarding. Aggressive alpine snowboarding. <laughs> I try to go in the hard zone at the bottom, but I usually don't do well when I make last minute changes, so I don't know. Definitely wish I felt 100%, but I can't look at this for that much longer. It's gotta do it. All right, you, I'll you see can you guys do it. Soon. Thank you so much. Try to enjoy it as well. Thank Not you. Only being really pressured. Enjoy. Thank you, brother. Yeah. It's an honor to ride. It is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. I'm so thankful. Can't believe I'm here. So. Yeah, nice. So cool. Gonna enjoy it. Ooh. 
scared and before the comp of the face. It's cool to feel that again, but also it's for sure intense. I honestly felt like crying. <laughs> there was like so much of a relief to be down and to be in one piece and like everything was feeling kind of okay that I just wanted to like be completely somewhere else and just like be out of it and just happy to be down. Never gotten injured in a comp, so that's kind of a new thing for me. Um, I had to for sure process that a little bit today and I think watching the live stream a bunch more times and seeing myself from the outside helped give me perspective of what I experienced like first hand. Got a nice little uh, souvenir from Verbier. Piece of the back on me. Left a piece of me in the back. That's how it goes. The wind goes to Jonathan! 